Yeah, absolutely. So there was always the consequence how many good things we have done. Still, we are not in our top. Still, we need many things to do. But every day and every week, we we training together. We are together again. We refresh who we are. So yeah, it was really good. Happy for that. And and uh, yeah, the, our three first points. Are hopefully, uh, will be not the last. And a goal also from Jack Grealish there today. He's first in the Man City jersey. First of many you you expect. Well, important is the first victory. The goal is okay. Hopefully, can can do more. But the important is a uh, most important thing is the first victory. Thanks, Pep. Simon Mullet, please. If I can call for some hands, that'd be great. Simon. Hi, hi, Pep. Could could I ask you to talk about the performance of Gabriel Jesus? Because um, he's obviously regarded as a centre forward, but it was a fantastic display on the flank. Set set three goals up. Yeah, he's a player. He likes to play more wider than central positions. Um, one of the reasons why is I am a manager in the best moments in my career. The people can say that they win the titles, but the best moments as a manager is when you can work with the people, persons, humans like Gabriel. Uh, He's never complained. He played five minutes. He played the best five minutes he can do. Never by face of respect. Uh, his mates, the, my decisions. Play right is happy. Play center is happy. Play left is happy. And uh, today, the connection with Kyle was exceptional. Exceptional. And uh, yeah, more than pleased for the, for the performance uh, he has played. Been involved in three, four goals. And uh, uh, yeah. An important, incredible, important player for us. He's so young. So big congratulations for Gabriel because he deserves in life the best. The best because he's so generous and uh, incredible satisfied for him. He's a centre forward, Pep. Will he be disappointed not to have got on the score sheet himself? Or, or is he that kind of player that, that, that it won't won't upset him too much? Listen, we have we have an exceptional squad, so Manchester City over gave me this, even the first season when I didn't win. I, I never complain about that. We talk and the club decide what they have to decide. We are the same team, the same players. Like last season was an exceptional for many reasons. And just we lost the, the absolute legend, Sergio, and came Jack. And and that's all. So I'm I'm more than pleased for the players that we have and, and that's all. Thank you. Guys, do we have any more questions before the embargo? Rob, when you're ready. Hi, Pep. Um, under you, Raheem, uh, Raheem Sterling went from scoring a handful of goals every season to, to reaching 20 and 30. Do you think that Jack, now he's here, can, can reach those same numbers? If he gets the mentality to score goals to Raheem, yeah. It depends on the... When Rahim, I arrived here four or five years ago, didn't have the goal in his mind. And it immediately changed, arriving like today. You know, before today, Rahim scored a goal because in the central position, the Rahim arrived like a, a knife. Uh, it's a machine there. But before, he did it from external positions for the wingers. And every cross, he was there. And he has to come back in that position because all the time since the first season, he changed his mind and decided I'm going to score, score, score. And Jack, I don't know, he has this mentality to arrive there and think I'm going to score goals. I'm going to, to win games. I have to discover. But if he has the mentality for him to, you know, to make an assist, score goals, of course, for the quality, he can do it. Do it, Brennan, please. I think you're on mute. Hello. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about Gabriel Jesus, uh, that he may leave the club this summer. Where do you stand on that? You know, was that ever a case that he could have been leaving this summer? Stuart, if I should answer all the suggestions and rumours and whatever go in the media, uh, we need five press conferences. 
So the moment I am going to tell you I don't count in uh, Gabriel, I don't like Gabriel, and after, okay, we can talk about that. So it's too much, so much important for me. So much important. But it's not the quality, it's the way he gives you to live your profession and all of us in the best conditions. So it's not today like make a performance uh, exceptional, it's every single day. He played three minutes, he played the best three minutes he can play for himself, for the team, for the club, for everyone. And as much play as you have in these positions, better team you are. And uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, he deserves to continue playing. When one guy plays in this, you know, in this way, he deserves to play. Hi, Pep. Obviously, um, Ferran Torres has played a lot on the right-hand side and Gabriel has played a lot as a number nine, but today you decided to flip that around. Um, what was it about those or their two games that made you think that you would put Jesus on the right and Ferran yeah. in the middle? Yeah, I thought in the beginning I could change it. It, it didn't work, but it works. Um, I had a feeling, I spoke with Gabriel, that he likes to play sometimes in more wider positions than the central one. And Ferran has a big sense for the goal. A little bit, I would say, a little bit higher than Gabriel when playing in central positions. The movements are more to the goal. Gabriel more, can more to associate, you know, to drop a little bit. And Ferran make a movement more to, to the goal and our our lack of goal lately. So we need a guy like make a movement there. And Ferran against Spurs making incredible movements. Like the, he will not be watched for uh, his mates, and uh, and again he did a, a good job. So that's why I, I'm more than pleased for uh, both performance. But both players can play in the in 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 the three positions in attack. Both can play in striker, right, left, and that is this versatility is so so good for the team. Hi, Pep. Uh, just talking about Ferran and his goals. What did you make to the the goal that was ruled out through VAR? Well, I don't know his fault or no fault, but I'm curious right now in the future. I'm really curious. With the same actions, we're going to review the VAR or no VAR because last season there is some moments, especially in the end, when we were champions. And uh, it was some penalty, then even review for the VAR. If they review VAR, it's okay. We will see is in the future. Every action is the same review like, like today. But if the referee went there and saw his fault and, and disallowed it, nothing to, nothing to say. Paul, can I check if you're looking to before the embargo? Yes, please, before, if possible. Last time we saw the embargo, please, then guys, go on, Paul. Uh, Pep, you said earlier that Gabriel likes to play in wider positions. What, why is that? Is it just because he thinks he can get more space there or is it for another reason? No. Yeah, some players, when get the ball in more wider position, his body shape is, 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 uh, is more open and you have more time to take the right decision. So when you play as much you central play, most difficult is play football. More people are and you receive the ball, they are more... It's, it's more difficult to get... Good balls playing is so so central, and Gabriel is a little bit better playing a little bit wider. But in the position they have the striker last season, Sergio was injured one year and a half most of the time. Play seven games or eight games in the Premier League, I think so. So we 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 have to use it, Gabriel. We don't have many alternatives in that position, and we were lucky that Ferran last season played there in that position, and scored three goals in Newcastle. And all the time when play there, always have an incredible sense of goal. Look the finishing, okay? The goal was disallowed it, but the pass from Gabriel, the control in the shoot for Ferran was exceptional. So he has a good sense of the of the goal. And the important for us is all of them, all all these three plus Rahim. I think Rahim is a in, also is a good position for him. I think as a striker is uh, is really good. Take a few questions under embargo for 10.30 on Sunday evening. Can I see some hands, please, guys? Go to Martin when you come through, Martin. Here is okay, Martin. Am I, am I on? Yeah, we've got you now. Come on, thanks. Pep, um, Raheem Sterling got his first goal of the season today. Is there anything uh, you can tell us about his contract situation? No. 
no sense. <laughs> no, Simon, because not my, it's not my, uh, sorry, uh, Martin, it's not my business. So, so I don't know. I never be involved. I never involved. Sometimes, for, for sometimes, listen, I put an example. Uh, we were working and extend the contract for Lian de Lap. Lian de Lap for, for the club, for me, for, is so important in the future. I think so. And uh, we're talking two months, three months ago, one month ago before the end of the season, last season, said we have to keep Liam. Liam will be with us the next season in the first team. And I realized I extend the contract for the media. So I'm not involved in the, in the transactions and what they do. Uh, we, we, we shared opinions, but the process about that, I don't know. But, but he, he's still an important player for you, though, isn't he, Pat? Absolutely no doubt about that. Absolutely. Cheers. It's just, I just to be honest, what I see on the pitch and the training sessions and, uh, and the perform. So I try to rotate the team, but in the same time, I try to decide. Uh, for example, now I'm Eric Laporte, the, the game he played today. He's going to play the next game. So the guys who play good today is going to play the next game. So it's where it is. There's only chance to have competition between them. Hi, Pep. You mentioned Liam Delap, obviously very important for the future. Um, is he going to be a part of your squad this season, or does it depend on if you bring a striker in? No, no. He's going to train with us. Even striker comes or don't come, he's going to train with us all the season. Him and uh, and Cole Palmer, okay, it is that, and Makatie, and Lukembete, um, Cole Palmer, of course, I said, and uh, Romeo Lavia. There are five or six players. They will be with us all the season. The same we have done the process with Tommy Doyle. And we're looking forward to, to being on loan. And um, like Phil, when he arrives the, the season, start to train with us, play with the second team, play with us. And it's the best way to, to help the develop because the problem in the academies today here in England is that the distance for the first team, the competition, the Premier League and the competition they play is too big. It's really, really big and it's difficult to promote them from here. That's why the best way is the, the players, like we believe, they have potential, like Sam Edozi, another guy. Uh, so this guy is going to, to be with us. We've got a couple more guys. Dave McDonald first, please. Hi, Pep. Um, you talked about the variety of attacking options you have and the players who can play uh, across the front three. With that in mind and with the goal threat they provide and they offer, do you really need another striker? And you've also got Foden and De Bruyne to come back in as well. Listen, when 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 we decide to send the contra Aguero and the people say what we're going to do, I said many times, it will depend on the market, the options, or maybe we'll buy it or maybe we'll not. So it's the same situation. We still have 10, 11 gates transfer market. We're going to see what happens. And it depends on that we're going to take the decision. If the team is, is the same one, I said yesterday before the 5-0 today, so I'm more than pleased with the team. The team, I know them really well. They know me really well. We put an incredible energy this week to realize that still we want to be there to try to, to compete with the good teams in England, the good teams in Europe. We want to be there. And uh, the, the, the group of people are fantastic. The players are incredible quality. So I cannot complain. Never complain since I arrived day one. I will not do it now. But of course, the club has the obligation, the duty to look forward, to look forward, to get better, to, to, to feel we can still be in there with a tough Premier League and this is what we're going to do. Take a last question from Jack Brown, please. Hey, Pat, you mentioned Liam Delap before staying with you all season. How much do you envisage him actually playing this year? Is he going to be quite a good option but off the bench? It was a, it was a pity because arrived in the preseason and the first day was injured. And have his injured so far, still injured. He could not train one training with us. And the three friendly games we played against Barnsley, against uh, the other teams, it was injured. It was a good opportunity to, to, to see him. But we know him quite well. He's an exceptional striker. Many, many teams want him. He has maybe he's the most request player we have had since we arrived. But uh, we count on him. We're going to train with us. And it depends what's going to happen this season, have minutes, or maybe uh, we decide another option. But Liam, now what we want is recover his injury, still could not play, and after, start to train with us.